it was after my second knee injury that I felt really defeated and I had a lot of questions and a lot of doubts about my faith. I had a moral conflict because it's hard for me to tell others to always trust in the Lord when my, me, myself, actually find it really hard to trust in His face, His doings. But it was faith that actually got me through and to always remember that sometimes we should not we always lean on our own understanding. When I was in secondary school, I had issues and problems balancing my social life, my personal life and you know my studies. Jesus has been telling me that, hey, no matter what, I'll always be there for you and I'll always be there to hold your hand to go through life's troubles with you. I lost my dad when I was 13 years old. Um, he was a sculptor and an artist and he painted this very big uh, Last Supper. Every time I look at the Last Supper, it reminds me of my of God's suffering. And it strengthens me. So today, uh, I have these paintings and the statue in my house, and it reminds me of my faith in God. And so this is why faith is very important and very crucial to me, because you know it keeps me grounded. It helps me stay very, very close to God, because I know that He's always there for me through it all. Catechism sessions are fun, not in the sense that because it, when I go there I see my friends and then they make it fun but more of how my catechist tries her best to make it fun for the teenagers going there. But having a catechist there really, it just acts as a reminder that I should be following this person because she is an embodiment of the, not the perfect but I would say but more ideal Catholic individual who keeps herself grounded in all situations to God, to Jesus and she reminds everyone that God will be there for you no matter what and that faith is important to bring you through life. It keeps my Catholic faith very stable and keeps me rooted and coming back to church often as a Catholic individual. It's also very nice to know that your catechist is someone out there for you, willing to journey with you on your faith journey. Even though your catechist is not really blood related to you, she still thinks of you as her own and just and is willing to hold your hand and walk with you throughout your faith formation journey.